with um, Emily, your 13 year old, mm. um, I, I read a great piece that you wrote about how, um, you know, with phones and social media, it was just driving you crackers. So you made a rule that you guys were going to read a book together every night. Yeah. I love this. Can you talk me through this? Well, I, I, it wasn't so much the, the being on social media and so I understood that and I, I understand the compulsion to watch things and I wrote in that piece that I, was, I watched a billion hours of TV. I just yeah. was a TV junkie. Um, so I understand that. But what was getting me down was the, the I'm watching television and I'm posting on Instagram and I'm looking at something over oh here God. on my iPad. It was driving me insane. I would call it, one screen, yeah. one screen. And you were talking to yourself I probably. was talking to myself. <laughs> And so I was, I was just kind of worried about her attention span. I thought, right. how do you, my job is when I write, I have to get into a zone and problem solve for a number of hours. I can't just go, d d d d you know, I was worried, right. how do you get into year 11 and start to just study on that level? Right. Whatever job you're going to do, you need that application just for just that longer period of time totally. than 140 characters yeah and not that she's on twitter because that is just so 2012 um but so i said okay we're going to read a book and to kill a mockingbird my mother had read to me mm. and so i went okay let's let's read this well it was like under pain of death. Yeah, I bet. She began, like she had kind of a fever. She was rolling around like, like <laughs> it, she had kind of Tourette's or something. <laughs> like she was, it was so foreign to her. And it's a hard book. It's yeah. actually a hard book. There's a lot of setting up and there's a lot of language and there's a lot of Southern dialect. And that happened night after night. I just persevered. And I'm a pretty good reader too, so I know I, know I can get you around. I yeah, know right. I can entertain you. And eventually, you know, it's, it happened where she finally went, can we read another chapter? Right. And then it got to the point where, but why? But why? But I don't understand. You know, she was so invested in it. And it was beautiful. It was just a beautiful thing to do yeah, each I night. Yeah, I love that. I really love that. It was really idea. nice, yeah. Because we read, obviously read to backs every night but when I saw that I was like oh, hopefully we can keep doing that you yeah. know because it, and it's so easy to just you know go that's it's too hard it is and sometimes you know I'm like fuck you've done about six hours of tv today because yeah. I needed to get work done or wanted to get things done around the around the place but yeah. I'm like it's just rotting his tiny little brain like he watched so much Dora the Explorer he got an American accent for a bit there yeah like, but he knows abuse. how to explore so yeah. I mean <laughs> swings and roundabouts but you know what I agree I agree and it, it but that noble version of you know and we're going to sit down and we're going to be Steiner and we're going to do stuff together all day is fucking impractical yeah. and it's bullshit like yeah. Yeah, okay, there are days where you might do that. And then there are days where you might have a one-on-one -on -one experience at the park where you both feel amazing. Yes. Although yeah. I do think the park's overrated. I, hate them so I much. always think, I you know, we'll go to the park because that sounds awesome. And then I get to the park and I think, why do I say go to the park? Oh There's so much work at the park. Oh, no, I, I hate the park. And I'm not a player, I hate playing. So I'm like, I don't know why I've had kids kind of because I'm like, I'm not interested in any of this shit. And don't mess up my house. Like yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. kids toys. Yeah. Look, it is hard. You've carved a rocky road for yourself. I know, I don't know what I've done. But sometimes, you know, I go, I really, and I get really upset at myself sometimes when I've got a lot of work to do and I'll go, I'll just play with Bax and Arlo for a little bit. And when I'm with them, I'm still not with them. You know, yep. I'll be there and I'll be like, I've got so much to do. I've got yep. so much to do. And, and I just really want to practice getting better at going, even if I've only got 10 or 15 minutes, just be with them in that time. Yeah. But it's still, I still find that really, if I'm honest, I still find that really challenging sometimes I when you live a busy life. I think everybody does. And I think that's why there is that, you know, constant thinking about mindfulness and trying to guess. And it's in those moments. Just yeah. think about the kids for that. I completely hear you. I, f I found when I had that, you know, those days where one of them would be at kinder for that day and then the next day I was with them and I could get work done on that kinder day and the next day I could do something with them and I didn't feel resentful mm. somewhere else. I found that if I could 
compartmentalise my time, yeah. I was less likely to go mad, yeah. which I think is just the end game. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. Go Don't mad. go mad. Yeah.